Hi, it's Miss Redigan here. We're going to be talking about the atomic model and how it's changed over time. So let's start back in ancient times when people believed in the four element theory that everything from the sun, the moon, to you, to a worm, to the ocean, to rocks, to a mountain, to fruit, okay, that everything was made from air, water, earth, and fire. And in different combinations, that's how we got different living creatures or rocks or leaves on a tree. Okay. And again, they believe this for hundreds of years, these ideas and magic of religion and superstition ruled the land instead of science. These were the dark ages. And during this time period, alchemy was explored. Alchemy is not true science, but these explorers, right? These uh, alchemists would be in the lab trying to put together different kinds of air, earth, water, and fire to create and hopefully get rich, to create things like gold, okay? which they did not do. And then along in the 1800s comes Dalton. Okay, John Dalton um, did experiments and he discovered that water, which was supposed to be a fundamental element, actually could be broken down into smaller pieces hydrogen and oxygen. And it broke down in a very specific ratio, two hydrogens for every one oxygen. Every time he did the experiment, he got the same results. It was like nature had its own recipe, right? its own ideas and rules. He also discovered that you couldn't have half of this. I couldn't make half a water particle. You couldn't make a fraction of something. So he knew that that you could break things down into small pieces and that these pieces broke into whole pieces. And that led to his solid sphere model. So an atom was like a tiny solid ball, invisible to the eyes, so small, uh, and that it couldn't be broken into any parts. 